So right now we're outside the lush Regent Street shop and we have just witnessed some pretty brutal animal tests being enacted on a human test subject. It's a young girl called Nicole who's 23 years old, a vegan and a performance artist. Um, you know, this is an issue that she cares massively about and I think there's still worse to come. So at the moment we're only at 11.30. This series of animal tests is going to last all day. It's an endurance performance. So many people really don't realise that animal testing in laboratories is going on for the cosmetics industry and that they are killing millions of animals a year. You know, it's a completely frivolous use um, and also it's very unreliable, the data that you get anyway. The Cosmetics Directive is a really positive piece of legislation for animals. It was passed in 1993 at the request of 20 years of campaigning by the public in Britain and across Europe and it said that no animals could be tested on for cosmetics. But unfortunately, the cosmetics industry lobbied behind the scenes after the legislation got passed and they were granted a delay, then another delay, then another delay. And so far it's been 20 years and they're currently asking for another 10 years. A lot more shocking than I anticipated. I think we kind of knew what was going to happen, but actually seeing it in the flesh in a respect is always takes you back, but it reiterates why we're doing what we're doing at the end of the day. We're seeing buses come past and people are watching and looking with complete shock in their eyes and trying to find out what's going on and then you tell them and there is just so much sympathy and empathy and hope and you know desire to kind of sign that petition and a real desire to see this practice end. Someone pointed out to me, if this were an animal in our window that we were doing this to, we'd have the police down, we'd have the RSPCA down, we'd have all of the animal rights groups up in arms. But you know, the fact that this is something that goes on daily in the laboratories across the world without that sort of protest is really telling. We just finished the performance in Regent Street with the animal test subject being killed and then taken out to the bins. And this is the reality for millions of laboratory animals. This is how it ends for them. <laughs>